hey guys it's nikki and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new and in today's video as you can tell by the title or if you can tell by me having no brows we are going to be reviewing the new benefit pomade the waterproof brow pomade this is what they replaced their cabral with so i know a lot of people are anticipating it they loved cabral whatever boom i never used benefit brow products i know kind of crazy i feel like they're like the most iconic brand for that i use my anastasia beverly hills dip out promade dip brow promade dip brow pomade so i have an idea of what i like in a pomade so benefit came out with their palmade waterproof brow pomade it has eight shades. I have the shade here, 4.5 Neutral Deep Brown. And let me just read you some details about it. So this one has 36 hour brow pomade to fill sculpt and define brows. It's waterproof, smudge proof, and the formula won't dry out. It has a built in brush wiper for clean controlled application, which I found really interesting because I feel like if you kind of wipe off, wipe off excess, like, you have like extra product to like use and tweak your brows with so let's just get into the review let's stop chatting and let's start applying that's what it looks like this is the component very cute i like it a lot and then we're gonna open it this is what it looks like it's very light um my anastasia one is like heavy because it's literally glass i believe or something close to glass so i'm used to that but this one's very very light but it's cute, it's Benefit's aesthetic, like I said, in the shade 4.5. And I'm gonna open her up for you guys. And this is what it looks like on the inside. This is that area where you can wipe your brush off so that you can have control over product, which I think is cool. I think this should be a good shade. I think it's a little deep. I guess we'll see. I guess we will see. They came out, I believe, with a brush with it. When I was shopping for it, they had a like a spoolie dual ended brush, but I always like to go in into pomades with my e.l.f. brush. This is the 106. 106 something, it don't came off, girl. It's the 106 something, but it looks like this. It's clear and she's cute and I think she's the best like duo eyebrow brush there is. I mean, that's, that's my girl. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply. So what I'm gonna do, I just cleaned the brush off by the way, as you can see, so there's no product from anything else. So I'm gonna take some of the product on and then I'm gonna go ahead and just wipe off excess right here. I kinda like that because then I don't have to dip back in, I just go to the side, but okay, so. Let's go ahead and start applying. I'm gonna apply just how I do normally, how, as you guys see in my videos, so let's go ahead. Very easy to work with, and I didn't need to dip in twice. I just dipped, wiped off on the side of with the edge, the side with the edges to kind of take off excess product and this is what I got. So this side is the brow filled in with the new Benefit Brow Pomade. And this side is without. I actually like the shade. I was a little scared it was gonna be too deep, but because you don't need so much, it doesn't go so deep. But you can kind of build up the shades. When I was speaking to the um, Benefit Brow expert at Ulta, she told me that she could, like, you could kind of manipulate the shades. Like, you know, you can make it deeper, lighter, however you want to apply it. I always think that that's a good thing or good advice for dip brow is you go in with as little as possible and you build up because you don't want to have, like, the deepest brow if that's not what you want to achieve because then it's, you have to start all over. So I'm liking how that's looking. So we're going to go ahead and get into the other brow. So same process. I'm going to just take some. Can you see? Yep, I'm gonna take some. I'm going to wipe off on the edge and I'm gonna go ahead and apply. And if I need more, I'm taking it from the edge. I'm not gonna go back in completely. And that is the other brow on. I'm gonna go ahead and spoolie the brows a bit. Okay, so I'm gonna close her out because we do not want her to dry out and I'm just gonna go ahead and spoolie the brows 
kind of like so I actually I'm saving my thoughts how about that so this is it for the brows I don't normally go in with a brow gel or anything I don't really set my brows my brows just kind of stay unless I'm going to water these are so supposedly waterproof so I'm gonna let them dry for a few minutes and then afterwards when they're really set in I'm gonna come back and share with you guys my final thoughts on if I believe that this is a good product or not also I just realized I forgot to tell you guys the price I think that that's one of the most important things. Hello. This brow pomade is $20. And then in comparison, the ABH is $21. So there's a dollar difference. Um, this one has 0.17 ounces of product in it as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and share my final thoughts. So I have to say I really do like this pomade. Um, what I really like about it is that it's not thick because you have that area to wipe off like your applicator. I feel like it's a natural instinct to do so so then you're not putting so much product on your brow and your brows aren't feeling heavy, sticky, clumpy, none of that. Um, I do love my dip brow that I use all the time, but I do feel like sometimes that happens. And yes, of course, you know, I wipe off like in the cap or whatever, but I do like the fact that I don't have to wipe off in the cap, that it's like kind of built in. And I like the fact that that is built in, yet it's for a cheaper price and it's such a good product. Like it went on so nicely. Um, nothing kind of really came off of the brow. It's not like transferring or anything can you guys see that i'm not flicking you off promise can you guys see there's a little bit but it's not transferring like crazy um i also like how i just like it filled my brows in so easily and it was just so easy to use it was just a quick one two three thing you know i dipped i tapped off excess i went in and it filled in my brows so nicely and so easily so I think that this is a really good product that I'm gonna keep and use because I really actually do like this thank you guys so much for watching let me know if you've tried this product down below and how you guys feel about it I don't really know what it's like in comparison to their older formula Cabral so if you guys have any knowledge of that let me know down below because I'd love to be like to know as to what the difference is I know that the packaging and everything's different but I really do think this is a really convenient product for $20 and I think there's enough product in here you don't need too much when you're applying so this can last you a really long time even if you're using it every day you're dipping in a little bit you're wiping excess off so that next time you can even just use a little bit of the excess towards your brow like I, I like that idea instead of wiping it like in the cap and then you're never gonna like dip in the cap again or it's like gonna dry out you know so i really do like this product here's a close-up for you guys on how the brows are looking and yeah let me know down below what you guys think of benefits new dip brow pow made <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more and i will see you guys in the next one bye <sighs> Follow, 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 follow,